It's Memorial Day and veterans, servicemen and civilians alike gathered at the Chattanooga National Cemetery this morning to honor those who have died in the armed services. News 12's Chris Gewin is live at the Chattanooga National Cemetery with details on this morning's ceremony. Chris. Well, Emily, the event took place just down the hill behind me. The ceremony's focus was, of course, on the lives lost in the line of duty. And after solemn words and some music performed, a 21, the event was capped off with a 21-gun salute. It means so much to the families and to the spirit of those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Hundreds gathered this morning at the Chattanooga National Cemetery in recognition of Memorial Day, honoring the men and women who have died in military service. We need to continue to celebrate their life because their life was cut short so that we can live in the freest, greatest nation in the world. The fanfare began with a planting of flags by the color guard of various veterans associations. A keynote speech was then given by retired Navy Captain Kevin West, who addressed the many unknown soldiers buried in Chattanooga and elsewhere. They weren't unknown to their moms and dads, to their brothers and sisters. They had families just like you and I do. They had a life too, albeit much shorter than yours and mine. Captain West also echoed the words of General George S. Patton, saying that Americans ought to celebrate, living out the lies that those fallen in conflict were not able to have. Just take a moment to remember those who did lose their lives in military service on this day. And as you go about your celebration, remember there are those families who remember those people because they were their own family members. It was pointed out during the ceremony that some of the servicemen that were interred here at the cemetery were actually buried before Memorial Day was officially a holiday. But the keynote speaker made a point of honoring them all. Live at the Chattanooga National Cemetery, Chris Kewen, News 12 Now.